It's Brook Squad and you know that we the best, yeah It's Brook Squad and you know that we the best, yeah All these other schools ain't even no test yet We got the best curriculum and activities And you know that you gotta come around for us We got the best curriculum and activities and you know that you gotta come around for rapid festivities. Good morning and welcome to Brisk Squad TV's At Home Edition on this Friday, October 16th. My name is Kayla and I hope everyone had a great week after break. Yearbook, follow at Oplomata Yearbook on Instagram to answer some questions to be in the book. Yearbooks are also currently on sale for $65 at www yearbookordercenter.com. Be sure to use our school code of 328. Also, if you're a senior, the last day of senior pictures is December 3rd. Puddle Books Beatbox Club is looking for new members. If you want to learn how to beatbox and make music using mouth percussion, the Beatbox Club is just for you. Beatbox is a combination of hip hop and vocal music. Club members will look at the screen of art while some members have already joined. The club is actively looking for more members. Wow your friends and family with a new musical talent. The club meets on Friday at 3.30. To find out more, reach out to daniel.reynolds at copay12.org. For first and second semester cadets who are interested in joining the Pebble Brick High School JROTC DRO team, please report to Clay Elementary School on Boggs Road every Tuesday and Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m. for more information and practice. Be sure to wear a mask and also be prepared for COVID-19 pre-screenings. In just over three weeks, the presidential election will be taking place. Earlier this week was the deadline for registering to vote. So hopefully all who are eligible to vote have already registered. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Hello, my name is Kirsten. Today I am bringing you a PSA about mass and gum. Every time you wear a mask out in public, you're saving your lives and somebody else's. A lot of people believe that wearing a mask is only for sick people, but why take any chances when everyone is not showing symptoms? Don't forget, make it a task to wear your mask. If you haven't decorated for Halloween and want to carve a pumpkin, Jayla shows us an easy technique to help you carve a pumpkin that will look spooktacular. Hi, I'm Jayla and I'm here with Serenity and today we're gonna to be doing easy pumpkin carving stencils.
coronavirus still a concern throughout the country, the CDC is not recommending kids to go trick-or-treating this year. That's why we asked Leslie to show us some fun alternatives on things to do this Halloween. Hey guys, it's Leslie and today I'm going to show you guys some trick-or-treat alternatives. But first, let's get this background a little bit more festive. That's better. First, you can go to your local store and get you some candy and Halloween decor. I also picked up some masks. Okay, so I just found these like old man clothes and I found this old man jacket and I'm gonna prank my brothers. They are never gonna know what hit him. They don't even know I'm about to scare them. You could do pranks on your family. Ah! <laughs> Our sister been pranking us, so it's time for us to get her back. I'm about to make them some soup with a twist. Body parts. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Y'all, I made y'all some soup. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Wait, for soup? You can play games for candy and treats. You can watch your favorite movies, eat your favorite snacks. Alright guys, that was my trick or treat alternatives. Which one are you most likely to do? And which one did you like the best? Hello, my name is Kirsten. Today I'm bringing you your weekend weather. Are you tired of it raining for the last week? Well, today I'm bringing you sunny days. On Saturday, the highest is 66 and the lowest is 46. On Sunday, the highest is 70 and the lowest is 55. You can put away them rain jackets and step out to a sunny day. Hey, it's your girl Emily and I'm here with your sports news. Today, there is a cross-country meet at McIntosh Nature Preserve at 5.30. Friday, the 23rd of October, Varsity Football has a homecoming game against East Coweta at 7.30. On Thursday, we were happy to be able to host a ribbon-cutting ceremony for our new facility on campus. Great things are going to be happening, but this is the start. So I want to thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, football team. Thank you, coaches. Thank you to everyone who has prayed and labored and said, when is it going to happen? We are finally here. Well, the football family, uh, we're very appreciative to be able to move into a new building. Uh, we definitely have put the work in as far as the team and the coaches. Uh, coaches working seven days a week. Kids, uh, six days a week, they get up on uh, Saturday morning. Uh, a lot of them have jobs. So as far as the labor, the labor has been done. We are appreciative for Cobb County. Uh, Dr. G, the previous principal, Dr. Joshua, uh, as far as everything that he's done to make these things, these things come together. Uh, also, uh, soccer team as well. Uh, we've got a good soccer team here as well. And they'll be housed here as well in the field house. So we're just doing it as a whole for all of the sports. And we just thank everybody that made this process. Go so It's getting open where we're going to make uh, memories, uh, build a legacy. And so I'm going to allow you to take the cut, and I am just going to sit here and
that's all for sports news. Till next time, now back to you. We are all familiar with basketball, soccer, football, and tennis. But there are some sports that just don't get as much attention. And this next segment will be a will be showcasing an athlete from a very unorthodox sport. Hey, my name is Jay Tavius. I'm a professional walker. Yeah, y'all heard me, I'll be walking. I don't be running, I don't run no track, no cost country. I'll be walking. It all started back when I was a baby, you feel me? You know, I was just in my diapers, and one day I just stood up and just started walking. And ever since that day, man, I was just like, I was destined to do this. Like, as soon as I set my foot up and got up and started walking, my parents started cheering me on, man. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep on doing, I'm gonna keep on walking. My training regimen consists of, well, I wake about, I wake up at about 4 a.m. in the morning. You know, I already got my fit on, got the shoes on the bed, you know, you don't stop training, we keep the shoes on all the time. So I got out the bed and I just start walking, you feel me? I walk to the bathroom, get right in there, brush my teeth, use the bathroom. Then walk right back out, you know? If you hear the key word though, walking. See, I'm always on that grind, man. I don't stop walking. Get into the kitchen and I walk out the door. It's like about 5 a.m. at that time. I walk out, I walk outside from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. I just be walking, bro. Making circles and circles around Georgia, man. My diet consists of mostly bread, uh, just stuff that involves legs, like frog legs. That's a must because Y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm the next Einstein for this one. So imagine, or not, nah, this gotta make sense. Like PEMDAS, if you eat legs, the leg meat go to your legs. Now, if that's not smart to you, then you just not you just not ready for the conversation, man. Like it's on to be over. All right, my goal is, of course, to be the best walker. Like, if you didn't get that from the start, I don't even know why you're asking this question. Who inspires me? It's a hard question. Honestly, I inspire me. There ain't nobody waking up at 4 a.m. and just walking straight, bro. Like, honestly, who do you know? Who do you know? I know it's not no girl in the park named Sarah. Sarah take breaks. I don't take breaks. You see when I see when we was talking about diet, I didn't mention water. I don't drink. I'm just built different, man. All right, man. Well, thank you for coming out here, talking to us, educating us on what you do, man. For real, we appreciate it. Yeah, man. For sure. For sure. You know, it was all light work. All right. So that was the filming. All right, man, can you give me a ride home? I live like two miles away. Two. Aren't you supposed to be a walking man? Can you mind your business, bro? My mom dropped me here, man. <laughs> All right, bro. Come yeah, on, yeah, bro. come on, come on now. If you are still having trouble connecting to CTLS, try reaching out to the Cobb County's IT department. There's an email address just for students to send CTLS connection questions. It's student.support at cobk12.org. Parents can also reach out for technical support at parent.support at cobk12.org. Or they can call for support by calling 770-426-3330. Do you have information you want to see in our upcoming shows this semester? Be sure to go to tinyurl.com forward slash BSTV stories to submit your announcement. This year, you can even submit a photo with your announcement. Again, that is tinyurl.com forward slash BSTV stories. Well, that's all for our show this week. Just remember, we're all in this together. Be a part of the solution. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and follow social distancing guidelines. 
Stay healthy, my friends, and remember, Falcons, believe you can. It's Brooks Squad, and you know that we the best. Yeah. It's Brooks Squad, and you know that we the best. Yeah. All these other schools ain't even no test yet. We got the best curriculum and activities, and you know that you gotta come around for our best activities. Brooks Squad, Brooks Squad, Brooks Squad, hey. Brooks Squad, Brooks Squad, Brooks Squad, hey. Brooks Squad, Brooks Squad, Brooks Squad, hey. Brooks Squad, Brooks Squad, Brooks Squad, Brooks Squad, hey. It's Brooks Squad, and you know that we the best. Yeah. All these other schools ain't even no test yet. We got the best curriculum and activities, and you know that you gotta come around for our festivities.